Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you to tell you something this time. We're going to be doing a deep dive into Cello. As you guys know, we've been really wanting to keep in mind more utility cryptos and Cello hasn't really been getting most of the attention over here on this side. So if you are new to this channel, what we really do focus on is utility cryptocurrencies, regular regulations and mostly ISO compliant cryptocurrency. So Celo has been recognized by the WEF. We're going to be getting into that. And as well, we're going to be looking into a interesting mechanism that recently was added onto the network. Now, as you guys can see right here, a reminder they recently put out that they're saying that their mission has remained unchanged, that Celo is a guide to prosperity for all. Now, like I said, you actually have WEF recognition for Cello all the way around. If you didn't know, they actually put out an official publication all the way to the public, approved for the public, all the way back in June 21, saying cryptocurrency, a guide to getting started. Now, I've been in crypto since 2017. If you've been in crypto since May, May, after June 21, understand after these publications come out, there's always consequence. Keep that in mind when you have a WEF. I IMF, when they put out public disclosure, there's always consequence that's going to follow. So since June 21, now we're here in March 23, we've seen a result of all of these these uh, these assets that that are being mentioned. Understand there's certain there's a certain gray area that we want our audience to understand about these regulation friendly DLTs. You understand until we have full activation, they'll remain in that gray area area now throughout this official publication within the throughput scalability section you all can see that there were certain assets that they were that they were really mentioning here we're going to focus on cello but i want to read this out for you scalability is a comparative term with blockchain tech and notably accessing throughput throughput the number of transactions that can be processed per second. So long story short, of course, they got to listing XRP, Solana, uh, 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 Celo, Algorand, and everything in comparison to each other. Now, keep this in mind, guys. We've been talking about Solana a few different times. I personally believe because you had such a uh, bad involvement, you had Alameda, all the certain liquidity that was behind Solana, that's why it's being mentioned here in the in the ranks nestled between XLM and XRP. But anyway, you could see that Celo is a mobile first open source proof of stake blockchain network mobile sir a mobile first so keep this in mind guys even during this time while we have the sec here in the states kind of coming after proof of stake protocols we can see that there will be even central banks that will circumvent small uh small um government branches that are really trying to overstep in the cryptocurrency it's really to keep retail away again from utility cryptos so the tech stack that they were telling their peers is that this suite of financial tools are designed for smartphone users to send receive and store money keep that in mind cello is mobile first if we have any developers that are really again working and they are building on the cello ecosystem it's a mobile first stack so cello has a ledger close time of around five Five seconds. So this ledger is working. It's cooking with around a thousand transactions per second. So, of course, they're just giving their peers more information on Cello. So, like I said, let's actually touch on their vision. What is it that's exactly that's so unchanged? Our mission is to build a regenerative digital economy that creates conditions of prosperity for all. Again, a guide of prosperity for all. You have 226 million transactions operating in 150 plus countries with 22 million holders. Guys, that's 22 million unique uh, wallets that are made. We're ready for a world where more for all is made real. Basically, just again, guys, what we've said previously in our updates that the most important part of Cello is the bridge, the bridge that's going to be built because this is a mobile first development here. They say, we believe that short term actions add up to long term impact on society, on people, on the planet. We apply this mindset to guide every project using Cello. Of course, they're really applying the theory of 
change to every project being built on the Cello ecosystem. As you all can see, some of the early backers here, Polychain Capital is involved, Jack Dorsey, Coinbase, and of course, T-Mobile. T-Mobile is involved in backing Cello, of course, them being a mobile first DLT. So let's take a look at Cello's ecosystem, a blockchain ecosystem united through purpose. That's what it's about, guys. United through utility. Over a thousand mission aligned utility projects involved here, over 200 members to their alliance. As you can see, they have DeFi involved here. You have Uniswap, UB, UbSwap, which is uniquely uh, built on Cello. Some of the NFTs that are being built, Mint Drops, Tatum, re gallery just big shout out to the developers that are building over there on the side here that are really about alliance for prosperity one thing i really find that's unique for cello is that they really allow people to have multiple options for white papers so i'll leave you guys a link i definitely recommend getting into just the original first off for the protocol and then as well there's some in here for a social impact for my people that are really about sustainability just really understand how they really came in for cvd uh, aid using the cello platform of course for those that are concerned about climate impact they've been scaling carbon markets through open blockchain platforms and of course cello really wants to be involved so here's the main juicer that I really have to tell you guys. I mean, of course, when it really comes down to it, ISO compliance, when it comes down to it, even if your asset isn't ISO compliant, it has to, it, 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 it's all about the central banks, y'all. It's really all about CBDCs. And I want you to understand that if the central banks have a direct bridge to you with their central bank digital currency, that makes this network even more valuable and even more precious. So with that being said, guys, this um, I'm going to be introducing you to Provo. Provo is the CBDC sandbox that's built within the Cello network. All right. They've combined here with within this Cello Forbes event. And this actually... Uh, released actually in November of 21 okay so keep that in mind you have the cello bridge and the Provo CBDC sandbox let's get some background into this as you can see in late September the cello foundation teamed up with Forbes to welcome over 600 attendees to a virtual event and you had the IMF the BIS gathered to discuss how blockchain tech can blockchain tech and CBDCs might change the DNA of money as we know it. So, of course, guys, whenever you have these kinds of connections, whenever you have these kinds of uh, collaborations going on, of course, every Forbes collaborator is seeing what Cello can do. So in addition to hands-on access then to this technology within the sandbox, clients will then receive support from engineers, economists, policy experts from C-Labs, Cello Labs that have access then to the global economy of developers and technologists who support Cello. That's the thing about sandboxes, guys. You have the same thing going on with M-Tech m tech with hedera all right again when you it's it's closest for example the chosen five are right there for iso compliant the xrp xlm uh xdc algorand like we showed you guys earlier iso compliant for cross-border enhanced messaging uh that's a completely different conversation but the sandboxes that offer these central banks leverage to design their central bank digital currencies in an environment where they have technology that could support this customization that's where cello comes in that's where you actually want to get involved that's what you want to pay attention to so the initial development of the cello platform in 2017 since then the cello community has developed and launched a mainnet the native assets cello and two stable coins two stable coins the CUSD and the C euro okay so that's the thing this is a mobile payment app they're mobile first already launched their own that's what cello is the native asset and then you also have two stable coins within it so with its uh, interoperability full EVM compatibility which if you don't understand what that means full EVM compatibility means that whatever app whatever smart contract that you're making on ethereum you can make it completely over on cell there is no just end all be all with ethereum and vision for uh currency inclusivity that's 
a purpose that's a utility. Cello's open source infrastructure enables native and non-native digital assets, both private and CBDC, you hear that, private and CBDC, to circulate at low costs, high speeds, and across devices. This is the most important part. OK, across devices and carriers, that's why the IMF and the WEF even bothers with Cello in a real way. Last but not least, they have a Fiat Connect. The Fiat Connect, I believe, is a very fascinating mechanism to Cello. It's a open on and off ramp, an API standard. API stands for interface. So if you actually have these on and off ramps on a mobile first, a mobile based platform, I personally believe that this is, again, a very important mechanism for the Cello network. Some of the questions that are really asked about Fiat Connect, though, is it free? Yes, it is free. This this API connects completely with Cello. Is it open source? It's open source. Uh, they encourage everyone to review the specifications and also who's building on it. A small group of wallet and CICO providers in the Cello ecosystem. So you have a lot of, uh, of developers, Valora, Paychant, Cobra, all getting involved to develop this Fiat Connect, which again, guys, I personally believe is going to be very important in the future. As you guys can see right here, Cello is trading around 67, per, 67 cents at the time of this recording. So if you guys really want to get yourself some at the uh, right now, it is available uh, mostly on Binance. You can grab some on Coinbase as well. If you all do have a Coinbase account here in the States, again, that is it's very accessible that way. Of course, Upbit looks like Upbit is taking on most of the majority here uh, with a I believe this is a Korean, a Korean pair here. And as well, next would be Binance. So guys, make sure that you grab yourself some. I appreciate you guys watching. If this update was useful for you, please hit the like button. If you want to hear more about Cello, consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll holler at you later. Peace.